there are a few different types of alarms which might go off on the ventilator. The same noise might sound for different issues and you will need to look at the ventilator to work out what the problem is and what to do. For example, this is where you would look to see if there has been a disconnect in the patient or if the O2 supply has failed. If you are unfamiliar with a ventilator and looking after a mechanically ventilated patient, don't worry. Anything that goes wrong can seem quite scary, but if you stick to a calm, logical and methodical approach, you can resolve a lot of problems. As ever, the approach you'll take will be in the ABC format. A. Check the airway. Is this a simple problem like the ET tube has become displaced or disconnected from the ventilator? B. Breathing. Increase the inspired oxygen to 100% and check the measured FiO2 on the ventilator and then assess the breathing. Does the ventilator seem to be delivering the breath that you're expecting? Look at the graphs. Is the capnography trace still present and if it is, is it normal? Are the volumes that you've programmed actually being delivered? C. Has a circulation problem led to a ventilation problem? For example, if you've suddenly lost your entidal trace, has a lack of cardiac output meant that the patient is no longer ventilating? Is the patient in cardiac arrest? Could a lack of pulmonary blood flow be affecting gas exchange? Ultimately, if there is any doubt or if there is anything we are concerned about, you can call for help. It will always be available to you.